We've got uh, Jeff, he's got the Jays and the Strohs, hoping to pull some Moreno. Andrew Stevens has the Braves and the A's, so he can get the Grissom and the uh, Harris and some Muncie. James Rosenberger's got the Brewers and Cards, so he's looking for Chirio. Cesar Cano's got the Cubs with Triantos in it. Paul Sprague's got the Giants and Dodgers looking for some Artiega, maybe. And uh, Luis Matos has a first Chrome in 2020 Chrome, so the Giants are a pretty good draw. Jeremy Russell's got the Guardians and Mariners. Um, it's going to be Valera, mainly. Gary Childers has the Marlins and Nats, so he's looking for Khalil Watson. And uh, I would recommend sending any or selling anything we pull tonight uh, that has, has Khalil Watson's name on it as soon as possible. Uh, Vernie's got the Mets, so he's chasing uh, Francisco Alvarez and the Orioles. Brian Carlin's got the Padres, so he's got um, James Wood. And the Phillies, he's got Logan Ohapi in the 2020 Chrome. Sakaguchi's got the Rays and the Red Sox, so he's going to be chasing some uh, Curtis Mead. James Woodard has the Reds. Of course, he's going to be chasing some Ellie De La Cruz. And I think, um, yeah, he's got the Rockies, so he'll be looking for uh, Christian Koss because he's still a Rocky in uh, 2020 Chrome. James Rogenberger's second team is the White Sox and Royals. And the White Sox have, like, Len Sosa and Oscar Colas. So they're a pretty big draw. And, uh, sorry, Colson Montgomery out of 2022 Chrome. So it's a huge draw out of 2022 Bowman. But the Royals have Massey, too. So it's a pretty good uh, two-team draw. John bomb has got the Yankees and the Tigers with uh, Oswald Peraza in 2020 Chrome and Oswaldo Cabrera in uh, 2022 Bowman. And John Taylor Albright's got the Angels and Twins. So he's going to be picking up all the Edgar Quiero and Brian Acuna cards out of 2022 Bowman. Twins are not a very good draw out of 2020 Chrome, but uh, I'm going to do the uh, 2022 first because I'm just really excited. I've been ripping a lot of 2022. I think every break we've done in this room so far has included 2022 Bowman. I'm really excited to uh, rip that 2020 Bowman Chrome. They've got some cool like insert autos and game use stuff in there too. So it should be a fun rip. Get it all out. I'm going to try to do some draft for you guys on the next break. I'm going to grab a 2020 draft and a 2021 draft jumbo. And I might actually throw in like a uh, 2022 Tops Pro Debut box or two so we could get some more autos. But um, I know a lot of you guys are wanting to rip some draft. So uh, I'm going to put that order in sometime next week. Maybe we can do that for like a November break. We could rip some draft, and I always like to mix these up so we don't know where the autos are. Fall League kicked off this week. I'm excited to do some stuff on the Fall League. I did. A, I wrote an article on Zavala for the... Uh, it was like two games in. I think he hit a home run opening night. He was one of my sleeper guys that I liked out of that release. Um, well, not release, but uh, in the Arizona Fall League, so... Get our mini boxes out. Wow. Yeah, draft's gonna be draft will be a fun break. It's just so expensive. This was an expensive break too. I thought I had got a pretty good deal on the 2020 Chrome. I bought it like a month ago uh, from DNA. They're like 325 a box. And on eBay, some of them are selling for like three fifty, but the prices drop a little bit. So, taking a minute hit on this break, but I've been really having the itch to uh, to rip. I've been working really hard on the website and uh, updating all my autograph checklist breakdowns, and it's been getting a little monotonous. So, I wanted to do something fun. And I really wanted to, like I said, rip some uh, 2020 Chrome, see if we could maybe pull a Michael Harris out of here. Or maybe a nice Alvarez. So, 
2020 draft is a really, really good product. It's, I think it's like 800 a box, but um, like I said we'll throw some pro debut, maybe 2021 draft in there so we can get some more stuff involved. We'll go ahead and rip into this thing and see what we got going on. Ricky, right off the bat. I'm going to ship those with the Rays. That's the only uh, non-first paper that's going to ship out of here. So, Austin Martin, Vibrations Insert. Move my computer a little bit. Then we got a James Triantos right off the bat, Refractor Auto. That's a big pull to $4.99, and that's going to the Cubs, Cesar Cano. You were just in here, so hopefully uh, you got to see this. He had a pretty decent year this year. I don't think he um, – there's a little flake on here. It's really good condition. I don't see any surface marks or anything on this card, so wow. Very gradable. Get it in a penny before I uh, check the corners and everything, but – Looks like a really clean card. To $4.99, centering looks really solid on the back. Centering on the front looks really solid too. So very clean and gradable James Triantos going to Caesar. First pack was hot tonight. <laughs> but uh, like I said, he had a decent year. I don't think he um, put up the numbers that the copy quite thought he was gonna put up. But he's very young. And he's in a good organization for development. So that's a huge pool. And we got a little bit of a numbered, we got a number on there with a refractor instead of a base auto. So congrats to Caesar already on the first pack. Got a pretty big card. Nunez, Max Muncy first. Cavadas first. Backstrom, we got a gold here. Nico Cavadas, gold shimmer. Wow, what a pack. <laughs> what a pack. So this is the best Red Sox pool you're going to find. In this release, I think Cavadas hit like 30 bombs this year. He started in low A. He's old. He started in low A and um, hit a ton of home runs, got promoted to high A, hit some more home runs, and got promoted to double A. Man, I don't think a lot of the hobby was uh, interested in Cavadas at, at the low A level, but now that he's um, been producing in the upper minors, uh, he's got a little bit of attention going on. So... We've got two big cards right off the bat in the first pack. So hopefully it doesn't go downhill from here. But that uh, gold shimmer, Cavadas to 50, is going to the Red Sox. And uh, who has the Red Sox on here? Mark Sakaguchi. I don't think he's in this uh, break right now, but congrats. Yeah, right? So we're off to a really really good start here with the uh, with the 2022 Bowman move my computer back just a little more got a lot going on here all right I'm gonna sleeve these first crumbs Max Muncy he's kind of a fringe guy for me right now I don't really know what um, he's got a lot of power he's young he's got rough K numbers but um, I don't know. I want to see what he can do in high A next year. Maybe get to double A and uh, can see a larger sample size and see what his K numbers do um, next season at a higher level. But I'm just a little, a little apprehensive about him right now. He kind of has like slugger prototype stats. So I don't know. We'll see about Max Muncy with the A's. Man, I can't believe that was our first pack. That was crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Blow through this paper. All right, we've got a Christian Santana Invicta. Same picture that he has on his autos. Now, I like Santana a lot. I actually bought a, a PSA 10 Santana auto a while ago before I started uh, doing, like, gated content and stuff. And um, I think this is an auto, too. Yeah. Carlos Aguiar. 
But um, he struggled this year. He was injured for a lot of the year, so I don't know how much the injury played a uh, part in his lack of success. Like Roberto Campos is another big prospect out of the Tigers organization. He kind of struggled this year too, but hopefully Santana can come back. He's got big raw power. Got Carlos Aguiar, twins, first chrome auto. I'm going to check the surface of this thing. It's got some scratches on the right side over here. It's not as clean as the Triantos, but Carlos Aguiar, Minnesota Twins. Not a huge pool, but it's a Twins auto nonetheless. And that's going to go to uh, John Taylor Albright, our moderator, in uh, the Bowman, uh, sorry, the Let's Talk Wax main page. So congrats to you, John. This is going to be a very uh, bad back half of 2022, but we're going to pull over autos. Is this Shigesti? Catcher? He's kind of a sleeper prospect. Eddie Leonard, another kind of sleeper. Justice Thompson first. And then it's got some paper in the back there. So. Yeah, I'm going to put the Invicta over here. I'll sleeve him later. This is kind of tricky to get in the pennies. Yeah, Eddie Leonard seems just like a solid, solid big player. He can play anywhere defensively. And uh, he can. he's got a average hit tool but uh, he's very versatile defensively so maybe that can help get his bat in the lineup somehow in uh, Los Angeles so we'll see got a Denzel Guzman in the back really just looking for a wander right here no wander Trey Sweeney he's kind of had a Mediocre year, Yoelki, Edward Perez, we've got Ed Howard, Edgar Quiero first to the Angels, Felix Valerio kind of fell off this year. I was really excited about uh, Felix Valerio coming into the season when he was on the checklist, but he really, he really struggled this year, so hopefully he can get back on track. Brady Allen, he's like 25, but he can hit. There's a Campos, we've got a Sky Blue Refractor, Denzel Guzman, not a bad draw there for the Angels. One of the better Angels in this release. The Angels have uh, Kiero and Guzman as their main chase cards in that organization. And that's going to go to John Taylor Albright again. I knocked my Triantos over. <laughs> to four ninety nine. Uh, Dario Lopez, the guy that I like. He's got a first only. Nolasco, not so good. But we do have the Edgar Quiero, uh first chrome. He really blew up this year. The bat just carried him a long ways in 2022. He was kind of a no-namer going into the season and uh, had a big year this year. And he's kind of really jumped up on the hobby radar. A lot of guys are chasing Quiero right now, so... Even his first chromes are kind of a cool draw for the Angels. Let's see if we can find some Wander. Gavin Sheets. I think this might be an auto too. We've got Jordan Wicks with the Cubs. So the Cubs are on fire tonight. First round arm. Jordan Wicks, that's got a huge uh, print line <laughs> on the right side, so probably not gradable. It's got a small scratch over here, too. I think that might be able to rub out, but uh, Jordan Wicks, he's a first-round arm um, out of the 2022 draft, or sorry, 2021 draft, I think. Yeah, Kansas State first rounder. So Caesar Cano is killing it tonight with the Cubs. We've already pulled our three autos out of this uh, box, so hopefully we can get some more color. We got the Cavadas already too, so it's not a bad pitcher auto. 
out of this release. He was one of the uh, first rounders that was kept out of draft. So not a bad draw for a pitcher. I don't cover pitchers hardly at all. So any pitching gurus in here, let me know. There's a Francisco Alvarez, Samad Taylor, PCA. There's a Cabrera. No color on the paper there. Yeah, Cabrera's not doing too bad at the big league level. He got caught up about a month ago. His stuff shot up. He was a $15 auto to uh, start the year uh, with the injury. He started off really slow, didn't hit for really any average, had a little shoulder injury. And when he came back, um, he just came back heavy and hit and hit and hit. The Yankees called him up. And uh, he's been doing pretty well up there, so... That's a pretty big draw now out of this product, especially with the Yankees not having anything. They have Sweeney, I think, in this uh, release, but Cabrera's the big auto with the Yankees now. So, Colson Montgomery and Victor. Those are cool cards. J-Rod, Ramos. Hopefully we can pull some Luis Angel out of the uh, 2022 Chrome. There's a Valera first Chrome. So we're doing pretty good out of this box. It's been a pretty solid box so far. George Valera, he had a decent year this year, and he's been challenged throughout his career with the Guardians. Uh, he's been pretty young for the level, and this year he was kind of age appropriate, and he didn't. He probably had one of the worst seasons of his career, which was kind of surprising, because I figured he'd be a guy that when he got age appropriate would would dominate. But um, he did. He had a, he had a solid year. It just wasn't. Wasn't what the hobby probably pumped him up to have. Jake Berger is a Jordan Walker out of Anthony Volpe. Benny Montgomery. Anthony Rodriguez. Fidel Montero. He's not very good. Sawinski is up with the big league club. And check our paper. There's a De La Cruz and a Chirio paper in there. Yeah, Sawinski is one of the slugger guys I talk about a lot. He, uh, Got a lot of powers, doesn't hit for a ton of average. But at the big league level, it's not that concerning. It's all about run production, so. Got no wonders there. There's a wander. It's just an insert wander. Whit, Austin Martin. We got a Soderstrom. Brian Bello. Robbie Martin Jr. first. Reggie Preciado. Man, talk about guys who struggled this year. Colson Montgomery. Preciado, it was just such a surprise to uh, see him struggle so much this year. He was one of the biggest uh, guys that just caught me way off guard and... Uh, had a really rough year, really rough year. I think he had like a 35 plus K percentage and he might have hit right at 200. Just a bad, bad year for uh, Reggie Preciado. So not sure if he's gonna make a comeback in 2023 or not, but he's got a really cheap buy-in right now. I think his autos are extremely cheap right now. I think they're like 15 bucks. If I can remember from my last autograph checklist breakdown that I did. So, Benny Montgomery had a pretty good season this year. Ivan Herrera, that's the next Yadier Molina. Maybe not as good, but definitely his replacement. Khalil Watson, first chrome. Colson Montgomery, we got a Speckle Refractor Auto. Missiel Urbina, and he's kind of a sleeper guy for me. He had some decent numbers this year to 299. Could be worse. Could be a non first. It is a non first, never, <laughs> never mind. I'm not sure what release his first is out of. Gosh, I did so many breakdowns over the last two weeks. I was trying to update all of my uh, breakdowns for the website, and I kind of got loopy about where some guy's first chromes are. And he's one of them. I want to say maybe out of 2021 release. <clears throat> got four packs left here. 
like I said, we blew through our autos in the first five packs, I think. So we're just looking for some color right now. I think I see some color back here. Got a Josh Lowe and a Jonathan India. Fuchsia to 299. Or Elvis Martinez. Alan Serta, big power, big whiff. Jorbit Vivas is a Dustin Harris. Got a lot of firsts in here. Logan Cerny with the Phillies. Kind of a sleeper guy there. Let me check for some color in here. We already hit it, so we're probably not going to get it again. Yeah, Serta, he's got some really, really big power, but he's a, he's a big swing and miss guy. Uh, Harris was actually moved to left field this year and um, he actually hit for more power than he did average which was really surprising because Harris has always been like a like an average first guy but he tapped into some power I think he had a near 200 OP, uh, ice OP in uh, 2022 so he might be kind of a sleeper he could probably go to a big league camp in 2023 and if he does any damage at all in big league camp um, his autos are going to shoot up. So always something to think about, you know, guys that could be in spring training in 2023 with cheap buy-ins that have enough tools to have a good month, you know, and get some hobby recognition. So Hernandez, Brennan Davis, he's a super cheap buy right now. He's been injured again for most of the year. Peningo, Cooper Kinney. C.L. Gonzalez, Henry Mendez, Dario Lopez. He's a first only out of this. He had a pretty big, uh, right in the middle of the season, Dario Lopez kind of went off, and then he cooled off in the back half. But he's a guy to keep an eye on. 2023 with the Pirates. He's been kind of shadowed by Andy Rodriguez, who just had a blowout year in uh, 2022. His bat just went went crazy in 2022 so we got two packs left hopefully we can find some color in here and it's not paper or veteran base color we got no wanders there blaze jordan 3d a brady house christian hernandez casas Marte, Luca Trish, Adiel, Henry Davis. Not a big pack there. Nothing really in the paper department there either. Yeah, Trish is kind of a tweener guy. He had a pretty strong back half of the season. Catcher with the Royals. No real crazy numbers. I think he was out of North Carolina State. But um, nothing crazy, just the average numbers. I pulled a refractor Tresh Auto in our last 2022 break. Oh, let's go on over here and get my piles mixed up. Matos, Shea Langoliers, the Ronnie, Brandon Davis, Jay Allen. Ooh, really bad pack here. Another Urbina. Got no chrome first out of that. No color. So that's going to wrap up our 2022 Bowman. And uh, we hit the Triantos out of that. It's a 499. Pretty cool card. Slide this stuff over. We got Domino Rally up here on the uh, shelf. I've got my top loaders right next to the Triantos. So it's making it really hard to stick him on there. <laughs> oh, this is doomed right here. First time breaker syndrome. We got Nico Cavadas, the gold shimmer. Going to the Red Sox, so cool pool there. Got the Carlos Aguiar, the Twins. And then uh, Cesar Cano capped his Cubs with the 2022 Bowman with Jordan Wick's first Chrome Auto. So not bad hits um, overall with the uh, 2022 Bowman. But we'll jump into the Chrome. This is what I was most excited to rip. And we'll get two autos out of each of these mini, or sorry, one auto out of each mini box. So, be four more autos for us. And uh, 2022 Chrome is scheduled to 
release in November. I mean, it's already been pushed back like two or three months. I don't know what they're going to do about draft. That's really up in the air right now because they're definitely not going to get draft out before the year ends. So, uh, I mean, unless they're going to put out a release in November and a release in December, but I don't, I don't see Tops doing that. So, 2022 draft may release in uh, 2023. Let's go ahead and dig into this chrome. All right, we got a Yellick, Jose Abreu, and Bobby Witt Jr., Blake Rutherford, Geraldo Perdomo. I feel like Perdomo's days are really numbered with Blaze Alexander and Jordan Lawler coming up in the system. He just hasn't hit at all since he's been at the big league level. So, Marcus Simeon, got a refractor back here. It's gonna be Jose Abreu, refractor of 499. Brandon Marsh is traded uh, to the Phillies, and Brett Beatty. So, uh, yeah, Logan O'Hoppy will go to the uh, Angels but he is, or sorry, will go to the Phillies, but he's with the Angels right now. He got traded uh, for Marsh earlier this year, and that was really exciting news for guys who bought into a hoppy because he doesn't have to deal with Real Muto now. And then he's got a legitimate chance to uh, be the catcher for the Angels for a while, so it kind of cleared his path, which is nice. You no know, Hoppy, he was just a good, good buy, like last year. Kind of caught. Oh, we got a Michael Massey. Nice. So this is one of my favorite sleepers. Uh, Michael Massey with the Kansas City Royals. If we could have pulled a pretty good auto, this is the guy we want to pull right here. It's a base auto. Michael Massey going to James Rosenberger. Massey had a really big uh, 2021 and he was called up yeah, this year. Didn't really do very well, but they sent him right back down and didn't really get a whole lot of time to uh, to get comfortable in the big league, which is hard. It's a huge transition, so hopefully his 2023 is pretty solid. But uh, that's not a bad draw. There's a lot of autos in this product that are awful, but there's some really big names in here too. So to get a Massey is pretty nice. Hopefully we can get a Michael Harris or a Francisco Alvarez. Young got a Bryce Harper, Spino, Wander Franco, non first, and Alejandro Kirk. Joey Votto, Cody Bellinger. Nick Lodolo, Corey Ray, and Jeter Downs. It's really crazy going from a jumbo uh, pack to <laughs> going to these chrome packs with five cards. <laughs> they just feel so little. It's crazy. Uh, so we got three more autos for sure. Maybe we can pull some color out of this one. Nick Neidert, Arizona Fall League. Tristan McKenzie, we got old sticks. Nothing really going on there. Go to our second mini box here. I want to say Massey was the second pack, I think. Evan Longoria. Willie Calhoun. And there's a Logan Hoppy. <laughs> we couldn't have picked any better two guys. Wow. So we got two of my favorite sleepers. Oh, Hoppy's not a sleeper anymore, but he was last year. Wow, we just talked about Logan O'Hoppy getting traded to the Angels. The dude can flat out rake. He's, uh, everything I've read about O'Hoppy off the field too is, uh, is really good. Uh, he's got really good leadership qualities and he could be a staple, you know, for the Angels for a long time. So uh, that's going to go to the Phillies, actually. And uh, Brian Carlin, that's probably your biggest draw with the Phillies for sure. 
So congrats on the hit. And I didn't really check the surface of it. I haven't been looking at the surface of, uh, I didn't look at the surface of Massey, but a little scuff in the top left corner. I think that will buff out pretty easily, but I don't see any print lines or anything. So the centering looks pretty solid too. So it might be gradable. If you can buff that little smudge out there, it looks like it might be some glue or just some, uh, some residue. So hopefully you can just wipe that down a little bit. But we got a Logan O'Hoppy and uh, Michael Massey for our first two autos. So it's looking like the top half, maybe. I've just got to pull a Harris now. Andrew Vaughn. Over here's Montero. Rizzo, Bo Bichette, Mike Siani. Much better than his brother. Purple Shimmer. And that's going to be not numbered out of this release. With the reds. Yeah, there's two brothers. There's Sammy and there's Mike. And I'm pretty sure Mike's the one that I like a lot. I'd have to go back to my report, but he's got some sleeper tendencies. The dude can just flat out fly. He can run. Victor Victor Mesa, not Victor Mesa Jr. Nolan Jones. Not a lot of firsts in this release. It's another knock I have on it. But man, if we could just pull a Michael Harris out of here. That would make up for the whole break. Let's see. You got Zach Collins, Lua Diaz, Dane Dunning, Braden Shoemake. I thought Braden Shoemake might have a chance, but his swing is just it's like an inside out swing. He's an SEC bat that I kind of liked, but he never really panned out for the Braves. I think we've got an orange card back here. For sure we do. It looks like it's going to be an insert. Steve Carlton, Farm to Fame. Wow, the 25. That's really cool. Farm to Fame, insert orange to 25. That's going to go to the Cardinals. So super cool pool there. Let's go on to James. James had a pretty big night tonight with an auto and an orange. Farm to Fame. Super cool card. It'd be sweet if it was an auto. All right, so I think the top packs are the autos. So we'll try to save those two for last. I think that's the way it was in 2021 Bowman Chrome, too. If I remember, it was always the top pack that had the auto in it. We got a Marcus Simeon to 499. Mickey Moniak, Dylan Carlson. Now, Mickey Moniak, back in 2016 draft, he was like the first guy to ever just go hype crazy when the hobby got really insane and out of control. I think his autos were like 150 bucks on release. And that was really, really expensive back in that time in 2016 before the COVID just kind of jacked prices up on everything. But um, he was the big chase out of 2016 draft. And his stuff was just really, really expensive. So he's had a decent, I mean, he's contributed, you know, but just not probably what the Phillies thought when they drafted him. Got an AJ Puck rookie card out of there. I got to make sure I don't rip up my two open, open the two auto packs here. Charlie Blackman. Strasburg, Baron Laura. <laughs> he was another huge chase out of this, and man, did he tank. He's not even playing right now. He's been suspended by the team or put on leave or whatever. He's had a lot of drama off the field. I don't think he's ever going to pan out. So we got a blue here. It's probably going to be a vet. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., awesome. So if we we're going to pull a vet to have a blue refractor here's a good one to have it's a pretty cool card matches the uh, jersey color too so 
You got a Vladdy blue to 150. Toronto Blue Jays. I'm not sure who has the Jays. Jeff Kunkel. Let's go on. You don't know if you're still here or not. Kybert Ruiz. All right, down to our last mini box, and I'm saving the uh, two auto packs for the for the, for the end. So, Molina, Bryant, Everson, Pereira kind of came back this year. We got a gold shimmer back here. It's going to be a vet. Or no, it's a prospect. Braden Shoemake. Just talked about him with the Braves. Yeah, he was a, like I said, he's an SEC bat. He put up some pretty big numbers. Not big numbers, but good numbers in uh, 2021. And I thought he would be a guy that could compete for a job maybe in uh, 2022. And, um, when uh, Albies went down, they called up Vaughn Grissom, which was a huge surprise because he was, I think he started at high A, got promoted to double A, and then he eventually got called up when Albies went down. I thought it might be Shoemake, but they didn't. And uh, um, Vaughn Grissom's hitting like almost 300 right now for the Braves. So he's doing really, really well. He was a guy that was a sleeper uh, a year and a half ago. I think his autos were like 100 or uh, 15 bucks. Now they're like 115. So if you bought in on uh, Vaughn Grissom, he was one of my sleeper picks that Pitt actually panned out in uh, 2020 and 2021. So. Shoemake was not. I bought some Shoemake, but I've sold it already. So we got our last non auto pack. We've kind of got a Francisco Alvarez in the back here. First Chrome going to the Mets. Got a refractor. It's going to be Clark Schmidt non first. Bobby Witt Jr. and our Francisco Alvarez. All right, we go to our autos here. Right, we got Pete Alonzo. We got a refractor here with the Dodgers. Devin Man. All right, not a very good hit for us there. Refractor auto, Devin Man. Not one of the autos that we wanted. But that's going to go to the Dodgers. Paul is going to get that auto. Maybe. Devin Mann can do something at spring training. I think he's on the chopping block on my on my 2020 Bowman Crow <laughs> autograph checklist breakdown. But you never know. You never know. I had to take uh, Moises Gomez off of the chopping block this year. So uh, it's just funny how it works sometimes. He was pretty average and awful up until uh, 2022 when he became the minor league home run leader. So crazy stuff there. We're going to have our last auto here. It's going to be a base auto. Minnesota Twins, Will Holland. All right. Not a good auto, but that's going to the Twins. That's going to John Albright as well. So he uh, hit with two autos tonight. Didn't hit Harris. He did not hit Francisco Alvarez, but we did okay considering um, you know how many guys on the 2020 Bowman Chrome checklist are uh, not very good. We did hit the Ohapi and the Michael Massey. So we got uh, the Triantos Refractor out of 2022 Bowman. We got the Cavadas Gold Shimmer out of 2022 Bowman. Carlos Aguiar out of 2022. And the Jordan Wicks going to the Cubs. And we got the Massey. Out of 2022 Chrome, the Ohapi, and we've got the Devin Man Chrome Refractor and the Will Holland. So that's going to wrap up our break. Uh, I think I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to grab some draft for you guys uh, our next break, and that should be a really fun rip. 2020 drafts got a lot of big names. If you guys want to uh, check out my I do some um, team break guides on the website, 
letstalkwax.com. You can go over there and see kind of the notable players who have first chromes and um, first autos and different uh, releases. So head over there and check that out. But thanks, everybody, for jumping in. I'm going to get these shipped out hopefully uh, by Monday. So thanks for jumping in. I'll catch you guys later.